Uh, we are joined now by, I, listen, I don't, I'm not going to even pull him into to my my ridiculous world, but I want some money on this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I rode Navy a couple times because I knew that this man was going to put the ball in the end zone. He was a great quarterback, shattered the records, rushing. Uh, Keenan Reynolds, amazing career. First of all, welcome to the show. How are you today, buddy? I, I appreciate you guys having me on. I'm, I'm having a blast. Uh, this is amazing. This is my first time actually being in the, at Meteor Row for uh-huh. an Army-Navy game. And, you know, me and my wife, we were just walking around the city having a good time. So it's cool to be uh, a spectator and not to be, like, worried about film yeah, and yeah, game yeah. planning and stuff. Well, you say you're walking around the city. I would imagine one eye for your wife is closed because <laughs> you guys have a nine-month-old and you seemingly are propped up with toothpicks and coffee. I know you're not sleeping a whole lot. God bless and welcome to the uh, welcome to the dad club. How is it? It's amazing. It's, 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 it's certainly a blessing. And, uh, you know, you get away, you're like, man, I need it. I needed a little bit of break, then you miss them as soon as you get out of the door. Immediately. uh, uh, Can't wait to get back. So you have, I mean, a couple of NCAA records. One is the most career uh, rushing touchdowns, which is 88. But I I, I knew you ran the ball a lot. Obviously, (laughs) Davey does. You 4,559 yards. You had more rushing yards than I did. (laughs) And I was a running back in college, man. So this game, I mean, it's it's, it's big. It doesn't matter what the records are. Three and eight, you guys are this year. But you play in the AAC, which is not an easy conference to play right. in. Uh, Army, obviously, is, is is eight and three. But coming into this game, BT and I, we were talking about this at the top of our show. The records are out the window, obviously. What does this rivalry mean to you all as you as a midshipman and I guess as a cadet on the other side? It's uh, it's kind of like the culmination of the season. You know, it's it's the bowl. It's it's our Super Bowl. It's the biggest game, right? There's a there's a saying, you could be 0-11 and, and beat Army and everything's <laughs> all right, or you could be 11-0 and 0 and lose. And then it's like, well, what do we do with our season, right? So it's, it's everything for us. As soon as you walk in, first day, I day, you don't know anything about the military, but one thing you do know is beat army, and you're <laughs> screaming it all day. So it's kind of ingrained in you. It's it's you you you're you're trained to to beat army. So mm-hmm. um, to be able to to do it in front of all the fans and the whole world's watching all the, you know all the servicemen and women across the world, um, all the college football fans because there's nothing else on TV at That's that right. time. It's it's amazing and it's it's certainly a great opportunity. Kenan, you say that when you when you went through the academy, you don't know anything about the military yet, but you know you have to beat army or at least you have to put your best foot foot forward and try to beat army. I'm curious because Tico knows I went to a, a, a semi semi military all boys high school, mm-hmm. and a couple of my buddies went on to West Point, other schools. Right? Um, how many of your teammates actually came from that kind of a background? You've got to have some some players that that you played with went to <sighs> military high schools, no, or prep uh, schools. Off the top of my head, I mean, a, a lot of guys went to the Naval Academy prep school before they got to the Naval Academy. Uh-huh. But prior to that, I mean, I would say at least on our team, there weren't many, if all, at any at all that come from that background and now all of my friends like my best friends they're all in the military they're all over the world they're all doing all kinds of crazy things so um it's really interesting how you come from that completely different civilian background and now like the military is just like part of your life yeah at this well point. what drew you to it because you probably could have gone to other schools and and been a star and played in bigger conference excuse me bigger conference higher profile not that there's anything higher profile than this <laughs> but you know what i mean yeah um, you know where, where it's more about football less about academics less about discipline yeah. why did you gravitate to the academy how did you what, so, what pulled you in that direction so actually uh i really didn't have that many opportunities i really it was army or not excuse it was navy and air force and then it was a couple of like smaller one double a schools and so i wanted to play quarterback and i wanted to play on a big stage big time ball and um it came down to to, to navy and air force and after my visit to navy you know i thought about the army navy game i remember watching it for like really watching it for the first time i was like man this is cool like mm-hmm. i was at like a longhorn and they had it on tv i'm like <laughs> you, oh, never yeah. ca- you never catch navy on uh on tv um at a longhorn steakhouse so to be able to just be all over the place um playing in this type of game playing against the notre dames played ohio state when yeah. i was there i was like i can't I can't turn it down. Yeah, were you, what did, you were just a quarterback in college, high school, or you were also a running back? I was a quarterback from the time I put a helmet on <laughs> until the time I took a helmet off, or until I got to the, yeah, to yeah. the next level. So, yeah. uh, you know, that's all I knew. That's all I wanted to do. And Navy was like, we don't care how tall you are. We just want you to run. And I was like, cool, that's fine with me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I, I always wonder if and when army navy football is going to evolve into hey they're throwing the ball 25 times a game is that ever going to happen i mean it's like we've been waiting for it for a yeah. century you know i think <laughs> it's it's interesting because in order to throw the ball you you have to protect and the type of lineman that we recruit the mm-hmm. type the body type that is isn't 
conducive to backing up for 30 times a game. You yeah. know? So it's a different different type of player that we recruit. And, you know, I think maybe, who knows, you may get to a point where you see maybe like instead of like 80-20, maybe it gets 60-40 <laughs> run pass. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't think we'll, they'll ever kind of relinquish the tradition yeah. of running and So how hard is that? I mean, uh, playing running back, I understand that like, all right, there's 25 times a game I got to like gear up, to get hit. Right. And as, it, but as a lineman, as a quarterback, as a fullback, whatever offense you're running, even the tight ends, like this is 70 plays of just smash. Yeah. Smash. I mean, that's hard. Yeah, it, it definitely beats you up. I, I, I do a podcast with uh, one of our former fullbacks and he always just talks about he's like, man, even the games where I'd only have like five carries. He's like my shoulders. Like I felt like I've ran a ball a hundred times. <laughs> like my shoulders hurt. My ribs hurt. So, I mean, it's de- it definitely takes a toll on the body. Um, and then especially when you're in college, you know, you're not really thinking about nutrition and nope, all no. the taking care of your body. You're just kind of out there going. So it, I. I'm I'm surprised that I was able to, to, to hold up like I was, but uh, yeah, you, I think you just kind of get used to it, and I, f- I try to find ways to not get hit as much, or you know maybe dive, dodge a tackle here or there. So by the way, you like the helmets for the moment? Yeah, like those them? are sweet, man. Those are I, cool. I love the the aviation theme and uh, like GI Joe kind of looks like. Yeah, you Pops. know, I was you know before they came out, I was trying to talk to our equipment guy Greg, like, hey man, can you give me a you know what, what's it going to look like? <laughs> he would not tell me, so I was guessing. I, I guessed that it would probably be an aviation type uh-huh. of theme. So I was a little off, but I, I really love what they Why do. Why did they decide to go aviation theme? Do you know? Uh, you know, that's a great question. I don't know the backstory. Um, I'll probably end up asking yeah, uh, yeah. tomorrow at the game. Let me ask you this. So we're talking to Keenan Reynolds, who had a, a sublime, there's no better word than a sublime career uh, for the midshipmen, just ripped apart the record book, most career touchdowns, almost 5,000 yards on the ground, which is, which is insane. A lot of wins as well. Um, Jim Harbaugh talked about how he finally embraced talking about, like, Hey, we rather than now we know the Buckeyes are the last game, but we're going to talk about them now every day, and we're going to incorporate them in our vernacular. And there's now a radar, and, and we're not going to run from it. How many times a, a week was was Army referenced? Was it always there? Was it uh, sometimes there? Like the backdrop of this game during your season, what was it like? You know, I think honestly, we really tried to focus on the team at hand. But if you walk around the hall. If you walk around or Bancroft Hall, where the dorm is, if you walk around campus, you're gonna see Beat Army. It's, it's like it's inevitable. It's it's unavoidable. So it's it's always there in the back of our heads. We know it, it's it's been going on for so long that it was like we know what's gonna happen come December, right? We yep. know who we have to play. Um, it's funny, like all the the the, the plebes, the freshmen, they have to keep track of how many days to certain events. And one <laughs> of the events is how many days till we beat Army. And so like they're talking about it all the time, all year from from I day in June when the plebes show up until the day before the Army Navy game. They're counting down the days of how long until we beat Army. Nah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Tell us about the Army Navy House. This is a sweepstake, which is interesting, and I think uh, a lot of people want to be involved in this because it's uh, it's it's the reason for this weekend. Yeah, you know USA. AA is is trying to help fans celebrate and participate in the tradition of this game. I think when you're watching the game or you're listening to radio, you hear a lot of talk about, man, you got to get to an Army-Navy game. You yeah. got to get to an Army-Navy game. But people don't realize how difficult it is to get tickets, to get in, <laughs> to be a part of this. So the Army-Navy house is giving fans an opportunity to show their support for their squad, upload their photo, and two, two winners which if I had to kind of pick, if I had to say, they'd be two Navy people, but <laughs> we got to do one and one. So one Army, up, one buddy. Navy. <laughs> come on. um, we'll get an opportunity to come to the game next year in Philly. So I think it's a great chance for the fans to, to participate, to have fun, win some great prizes. Even if you don't get to go to the game next year, there's still all kinds of other prizes, um, flags, mini helmets, you know, gear that, that kind of represents this year's game. So mm-hmm. I really, really will encourage our, uh, the fans of Army and Navy to go show your support. And who knows? Maybe you're sitting, sitting, uh, cruising media row, or sitting, you know, in the game next. Maybe year. next to the president. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe, right. We will. We'll tweet this out for you. We've got about 30 seconds. It's been an honor. Uh, what do you think of the ship? I mean, have you walked around? Get a sense of what's what's on this massive monstrosity of of history? It's it's amazing. Um, it was my wife's first time kind of seeing something like this. Uh, you know, obviously I'd seen some stuff like this, but to yep. actually be able to walk around and go on a flight deck, I think it's amazing. You see all the the jets everywhere, so this is pretty cool. Is your wife from Navy or no? No, she is not, no military connection no whatsoever. Connection. Civilian. Well, her, you, mar- her, you married a civilian. <laughs> yeah, her, her dad is uh, her dad is retired Army, but he doesn't, oh, he doesn't, oh, he, doesn't he doesn't talk trash to me. So. Who is she oh, rooting wow. for? She rooting for Navy? Oh, of course, yeah. She, she grew up in an Army house. Yeah, uh, she ain't 
sorry about that. <laughs> I hear you, man. Hey, Connor, great Thanks, job. Guys, I really man. appreciate you. Really respect you and you. your boys uh, and the women on campus as well. You know, we always talk about the the, the young men playing this game, but uh, the women on these campuses, the the rigors of the academics, the postgraduate commitments, special type of young student athlete. Great to uh, great to great to see. I probably owe you ten percent. Not lying, man. You want me some scratch back in the day? Hey, it's an honor. Thank, Thank you. Buddy. There you go. You're not even gonna say go Navy. Come on now. Hey. It's, it's, it's simple, implied. Buddy. Go Navy, beat Army. I don't even got to say uh, it's implied. I don't know, you know? If it's implied with three and eight. Ah, just kidding. Oh, man. Man. I'm teasing, buddy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we drop fresh content.